In this video, we show you how to create a bootable macOS Catalina USB install drive. It's super simple and super easy. Check it out. 9to5Mac on YouTube is sponsored by Mac Paul's Clean My Mac X. Before updating your Mac to a new OS, it's recommended that you back up your Mac first, and cleaning your drive is the first step in preparing the backup. With Clean My Mac X, you'll discover tons of apps that you didn't even know you had, and then you can sort and delete them using filters like App Store apps, unused apps, 32-bit apps, etc. Click the link in the description to visit cleanmymac.com for a free download. So the very first step in creating a macOS Catalina USB install drive is to download macOS Catalina, and that can be either the public beta, the developer beta, or the final version that comes out later this fall. In this particular example, I'm going to use the public beta. So I've downloaded the public beta access utility. So we're just gonna open that up real quick. And this is what allows us to download the public beta to our Mac. Uh, so these steps really don't pertain so much to the creation of the USB install drive. This is just the step to actually get the download onto our Mac. So that's what we're doing right now. Now, once the final version of macOS Catalina comes out later this fall, you can just download that directly from the Mac App Store and skip the steps with the public beta access utility, etc. Okay, so now it's going to download the update and I've sped this up just to get through it, but this is actually downloading the macOS Catalina installer. All right, so now there we go, macOS Catalina beta. Don't hit continue, instead go up to the menu bar and quit the install macOS utility. All right, so now you wanna open up Finder, go to Applications, and then find where it says Install macOS Catalina Beta, or Install macOS Catalina if you're running the final version. Next, right click and select Show Package Contents, open up the Contents folder, and then open up the Resources folder and then scroll all the way down until you see where it says create install media. Just highlight that, have that ready to use. All right, so what we're gonna do now is open up a terminal window. So I'm gonna create a new tab in my finder, go to applications, and then we're gonna open up the utilities folder. Just double click there and then scroll down and then open up terminal. So here's our terminal window. So go back to the resources folder, find that create install media, we'll get to that in just a second. In your terminal, type in sudo, S-U-D-O, and then a space on your space bar. S-U-D-O, space. Okay, now drag the create install media over to the finder and let it go, like that. Next, in the terminal, you wanna type dash, dash, volume, just like this, space. And now it's time to prepare our USB drive. So what you wanna do is go back to your finder. This time, I'm gonna go up to the Go menu and select go to folder. All right, so in the text box type slash volumes and then click go. All right, so now grab your USB drive. I'm using the SanDisk Ultra USB type C slash USB type A drive. So it has both a USB type C and a USB type A port on it. It looks just like this. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and plug the drive into your Mac. You want to make sure that there's nothing on the drive that you need because this process will erase its contents. Okay, so a few seconds after plugging in the drive, you should see it appear right under volumes there. There it is, the SanDisk Ultra. So now all we need to do is drag and drop that drive over to the terminal and then release like that. Now press return on your keyboard and it will prompt you for your password. Put your password in and then press return on the keyboard. Now it's gonna ask you if you want to continue. So you wanna type a Y for yes and then press return on your keyboard. All right, so now we'll start erasing the disk. Remember I warned you, you wanna make sure there's nothing on that disk because it's gonna erase the entire contents. So once it finishes the erase, it's going to start copying data over to the disk. And this will take a little bit, it'll take a few minutes. Just be patient, maybe while you're waiting, go ahead and subscribe to 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube and be sure to like this video if you appreciate this tutorial. Now like I always do, I have sped this process up a bit so you're not just sitting here waiting. It does take a little bit of time to complete, so you'll need to exercise some patience. But we're almost done here. All right, making the disk bootable, copying the boot files, and now we're ready to go. So the install media is now available on our SanDisk Ultra USB Type-C flash drive. Now you wanna use a drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. If you wanna drive similar to the one I'm using in this example, click the link down below in the description. I have a direct link to Amazon. 
Okay, so now let's verify that everything's all good. So we're gonna open up Finder. There it is, our installed macOS Catalina beta. That's our USB flash drive. So just open that up and there we go. Install macOS Catalina beta. Like I said, the process is super simple and super easy. So now you can unmount the drive, remove it from your Mac and store it away for safekeeping. So here it is, the SanDisk Ultra. So one way to use this is when your Mac is powered off, just plug the drive in, hold the option key on your keyboard and then power on your Mac while continuing to hold the option key. And that will present to you a menu that looks something like this. And then from there, you can choose install macOS Catalina beta to begin the install process. Now, depending on the type of Mac you're using, you may have to allow booting from external media, but that's a subject for another tutorial. What do you guys think? Are you gonna make a macOS Catalina USB install drive? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. 9to5Mac on YouTube is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. Before updating your Mac, use the new Space Lens feature to build an interactive visual map of your storage. That'll help you quickly find the biggest space wasters in the form of space bubbles. That's just one way that Clean My Mac X can help you prepare to upgrade to a new OS. Click the link in the description to visit cleanmymac.com for a free download.